big ass door. Um, next video. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, we we we've held these conversations with our people. I'm pretty sure that the white community has held this conversation with their people. Um, yeah, don't don't do this, man. Y'all y'all need to do better. Today you have two hundred forty four dollars and twenty seven cents worth of debt. Oh, you thought you was good. Now nah, go ahead and cook that. Was well, she about to make some ramen? Uh huh. Until she heard the amount that it was in her account that she thought was in her account. Oh. Thing. And I'll tell you, and I would tell you exactly where this came from, why I had to share this video. Held this conversation earlier with my, my daughter and some of her friends. Y'all tax return is not a free check. Y'all get y'all tax returns and y'all act a damn plum monkey. Y'all buy stuff that you know you normally don't buy. You get that car that you know damn well that you can't pay the monthly payments on. But simply because you got enough money to put a down payment on it, let's go for it. So you can look cool as hell for 90 days. Stop doing that shit, people. For real. Stop it. That's why you wind up constantly always being in debt. Why you constantly always have to keep paying somebody else. That's why you constantly can't own. Own. Not paying on. Own. Me and Thea's. Tracy now can say we own our house. Now yeah, we're still paying a mortgage, but you get my point. I'm not, we're not throwing money to a renter to make them richer. We're putting money into a house so eventually we'll own it. Well, I have a difference of opinion here, but yeah. Go ahead. Well, I agree with you about the, um, the car thing. Um, like, just because you got a, a three thousand dollars came into your pocket, so you gonna go and get a car that your normal extra income is like fifty dollars a month, and you went and got a car that next month you gotta start paying four hundred dollars a month for. Don't do that. <laughs> you know, don't, don't do that. Um, but. I am one who says, uh, especially for young people, um, you know, enjoy your youth, you know, within reason. So let's say you, you get a $3,000 check and you're otherwise reasonably responsible. Go to that concert. Go buy those shoes. Go on you know, that go do that. Yeah, do that. That thing because you, you're not going to get that money back if it's already outside of your normal like weight class right like you only see this money once a year and as you get older you start to learn that the main reason you get a tax return is because you broke right because once you start getting some more money in your pocket them tax returns get real skinny if they show up. <laughs> so, you know, enjoy your youth within reason. What I would love to see people do, and I didn't find a way to do this back when I was in sales, because um, it's just so hard to cut through to people. But you get a ta you get your tax return. This is my advice to you if you'll hear me. You get your tax return. And let's just say that your tax return is $2,000. First thing I want you to do is take that $2,000 and 
And I want you, if you don't already have life insurance, I want you to go buy a life insurance policy. And I want you to get, if you're single, you got no kids, no dependents, no nothing like that. Get you a life insurance policy. I would tell you what kind, but I'm not able to do that because I hold a license and they could get issues with me giving you advice like that. Uh-huh. Go get you your insurance. Pay for the whole year. Not No, don't, don't pay month to month. Pay the whole year. Get it out the way. So the next year when you get your tax return, you just do it again. Right. Let your tax return pay for your life insurance was not coming out your paycheck. And then the rest of it. Put some aside. You know how you know how you live in, you know, you know, you running short in your bank account every month and paying too late fees. Well, if you pay in too late fees, you need to figure out how much money is triggering you to go into these late fees. Is you're probably running short by something s- silly, right? Like what I used to see people when I was a, when I was a banker is is not the three hundred dollar bill that you forgot about that gave you an overdraft fee. It's the twelve dollar purchase at Burger King that got you the, over- <laughs> the overdraft over- fee. <laughs> so get you a little money set in the savings. And and use that as your cushion for as long as that cushion can last you. And then take whatever's left, blow it. Whatever you're going to do, have fun with it. Go to the strip club. Go eat all the food that you normally don't get to go eat. I don't give a damn. Enjoy your youth. Enjoy your time. And and eventually, like, I'm I'm in my 40s. OK, so I didn't get my house until I was in my 30s. So late for you can't be me if you're not where I'm at yet. Right. It, you got to function where your money is, how your family structure is. You, you know, all those things got to come in place. But. That, that's that's me, that, you know. And I'm, I know I'm kind of in the minority. A lot of people don't really rock with it the way I look at it. No, I, I get what your point is, because. How if I was to simplify it? Okay, how about to say dumb it down? But I don't like using that word because it's like you so stupid. I have to. I don't want to be that person. To simplify it, take care of your business first. Was ever left over? Yeah. Knock yourself out. Have a ball. Now, me personally, I would kind of want to look and go. You know. That's not really extra money. <sighs> okay. You're I'm trying to put it in the viewpoint of when you're in your 20s. Yeah, I know. And you I, ain't I, got I, much money. I know. I just want to tell everybody <laughs> that that's that that return, that check that you getting, your tax return, that's not extra money. That's an overpayment, and you're not really getting all that overpayment back. So me personally, I would do my best to try to figure out how to not trigger that. But this is right. We're talking to people that are sitting there in their 20s. They ain't listening to me on that crap. Yeah. And odds are, if you're young and getting a, a couple thousand dollars in a tax return, mm-hmm. you don't make no money. No. Right? No. Because no. at a certain, up to a certain point, you get money back just because the government knows you need this to survive, right? You getting other people's money. That's not your money that came back to you. That's my money that came back to you. You know what I'm saying? You know, the government send you this money because one, and this is why I wish the government would actually take more of this as an opposition, but unfortunately it's run by rich people, so they, they don't have the incentive to do this. Hmm. But that's actually a good concept where you send money to the people at the lowest end of the economic ladder because 90% of what they spend is consumer consumer goods. Like it goes right into the economy. You know, right. no breaks, no pause, straight back into the economy. Right. That money hits their account and it's back in the streets the next day. But you give me a couple thousand dollars, half of it's gonna come to the streets. 
Right. The other half is going to get deployed somewhere else for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> here, here is the difference between 20s and your 40s and your 50s. Some. But if you've been on this show long enough, you know we don't deal in absolute. So I'm not going to sit there and go, but not everybody. But so, I'm not. I'm not that person. I don't deal in absolutes. I don't have time for that. We already did a four hour damn show last week. In a bit of five hour show, not everybody, but some people. But not up. But not uh, you. You wear blue not shoes. You, not you, but you. But not you. You cool. Fuck you, but you cool. I'm not doing that. Okay. What I'm saying is the 20s and 40s and 50s year old. The 20s is living it up. Nothing wrong with that. I did it. And I'm I'm sorry. Let me go back. The two thousand dollars. I wish I could have done it better. <laughs> and and that's my point, because that's a lot what people <laughs> when they get into their 40s would say. Damn boy. If I would have invested that, do you know how many times I've sat there? My daughter got me a new lounge chair, a vibrating lounge chair for Father's Day. Thank you, sweetie. Um, you know how many times I sat there with, if I can go back in time, I would have told my mom, when Apple comes out, invest as much money as you can into it. As much money. Don't say a word. Just do it. And yeah, there's going to be a point where it's going to go really low and it's going to look like it's going out of style and going out of bit. Don't you touch that money. Don't you touch it. Don't touch so see, it. Marlon, nope. check this out. Marlon, um, Apple, Amazon, like the big, uh, these big ones that you look back at, it's like, whoa, they made people instant millionaires. The people who could even participate had money anyway. Because the money was it was so expensive to get involved, right? No, no, no like, that's you why take... I literally went back to Apple. That's why I went, went way back to Apple. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm, I'm heading somewhere with it though. Oh, okay. Remember, remember the time value of money example I shared with y'all a little while ago when we were talking about the house. Now, the interest rate that I was talking about there is seven and a half percent return. Okay, so that. You can find that kind of a rate of return on things like index funds and, and very simple things to get into. So now, my 20 somethings, you get that two, th I use an example of 5,000, but use any number. You take that 2,000 and you put that into an index fund or some other type of investment that's very secure and safe and low, low risk. Talk to a professional. Anyway, you do that and you're getting set for seven percent. So it's doubling every seven years, wasn't it? Yeah, it was about seven years. So it's doubling like, like every seven years. So if you were 20, so when you're 27, that's at four thousand, you're 34, you're at eight thousand, you're at forty-two, here you are walking around with sixteen thousand dollars. Off of something you did back there. What can you do with $16,000? You could get your child ready to head off to college because you might have one by then. You could get you a car, a nice car, and do a down payment that makes your car payment still cheap to you. You can accelerate your mortgage. You can leave it alone because you still got 40 more years of living to do. Yeah. <laughs> And that, and that was my point. That was my point. That was my point. Was when you're in your twenties, that's what your mindset is. I can get, I can get this. I can get that. I can get whatever. When you get in your forties and fifties, and this, tell me if I'm lying. When you get a two thousand dollar check, hey, okay, we can pay off this. We can pay off yep. this. We can build this that we've been wanting to be put on this house for the longest damn time. Man, what Please. can I get rid of? What can I about? That's, that's, that's <laughs> the difference. You're adding to your, and I don't want to say it because I'm not trying to bash you. It is really not bashing. Because I've been in my 20s. I done done some stuff like this. So I'm just telling you from experience. 
when you're in your 20s and you get two thousand dollars your whole mentality is i'm gonna look fine and fly and cool and good looking and go to the biggest places and look big, big. man i'm gonna be woo you can't stop me now when you get to your 40s and 50s hey we can finally pay off that credit card hey we can finally get them gutters that we always wanted that need to be on here. I can finally finish my debt. Man, you know what? Do you know how long it's been since I had a tune up on that car? Boy. Well, Marley, <laughs> but like you said, it's different life stages, right? Because I, I that is they exist. Don't get me wrong, these these 20 somethings do exist, but those 20 somethings probably don't have a very good social life that would be the one saying, you know, I really should change the gutters right now. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and very few and far. But between. those are also the ones twenty years later that you call sir or ma'am. You <laughs> so. know, it, it's very few and far between. Like I said, I don't play it absolute, but it's few and far between. It's hard for a twenty year old to say, I, "Man, I need to go change them gutters." Uh, when you don't have gutters, welcome to America. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of yeah, it's kind of really hard to change something on the house with um you don't yeah you know, it's hard out here man it's, it's hard especially for these young people it's it's you got young people starting at twice what we started at but the house is three times as expensive right so they still can't get nothing that's why I, that's why I don't even listen to these. These guys that's in their seventies and eighties, twenty year olds. I'm I'm telling you off the top of my. Please stop listening to great granddad and great grandma. Uh, how you don't have a house yet? When I was your age, I was in the house. Grand great grandma, your house cost five thousand dollars. Shit, you should have had a house by then. At, at this point in my life, sorry, great grandma. At this point in my house, five thousand dollars can't give, can't even give you a good damn apartment in New York. New York, nothing. They can't get you in a lot of places. You you can get the first because the apartment complex is gonna say, "I want first and last month's rent." Right. Okay. There's your five thousand. <laughs> right there. We we it's, it's, the bills. Ooh. not even touch your bills. Bad. Your life yeah, my bill, first, your water bill, your gas bill, yeah. your your my internet. first apartment that I had to myself. Now I was in college, and I went to and I went to school in South Georgia, so everything's relative, right? Costs are different, but I paid less than four hundred and fifty dollars a month mm -hmm. for my rent. You know what I'm saying? And then I got a house, and it was at like five hundred. So I mean that. And that was in like 2000. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's sorry. only and, been 20 and years and it's triple. And security. First, yep. last, first month rent, last month rent, and security. Yep. And they got the audacity to say they want you to earn three times what the rent is. Because the, the, there's this old rule that comes out of the 70s and 80s that says that you shouldn't spend more than 30% on your housing. And that's true. If you can spend 30% or less on your housing, then you have enough money left to actually function and not be in a desperate situation. The problem is you're not getting paid in such a way that you can do, you make three times the rent, right? Because in order, because I mean, what? To get out, to get an apartment nowadays that's not going to put you in an area that you don't want to be in, you're talking anywhere between fifteen hundred and twenty five hundred dollars a month here in Atlanta, anyway. So, who's making three times that at twenty years old? There's a few, but most people ain't. <laughs> so it's it's, a, it's such a messed up system that we function under. I'm just curious. The average monthly rental price for a studio apartment in New York. Three thousand five hundred. Yeah, and that's you. Four walls, and your bed is right by the kitchen. 
and the oh. average price per square foot is eighty nine dollars and thirteen cent per square foot. Let's go to L.A. L.A. is $2,781. Yeah, I don't believe that number. See, it, 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 great grandma, you have all the, 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 I get it. I really do. I get great it. Great grandma went to college for that amount of money. You could take 5000 Yo, you, her daddy saved $5,000 to send her all four years of college. Yep. She bought her car for, she bought her brand new car for $2,000. That's yeah, a different time. $2,000 is a, is a good, that, well, $2,000 was a damn good down payment in my time. I don't know if it's a damn good down payment now, so who knows? Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know, so. I got I'm, my cars paid for, and I was just like, yep, yeah. this is what we're going to do. <laughs> all I pay, all my cars are paid for, and it's done. And woo, I'm no. keep patching them up and driving them down. You think I ain't when I will? Um, uh, hold on, let me get these comments out of the way. OMG, my first studio apartment was three hundred ninety-five dollars with a fifty. Woo, feels fifty dollars deposits. Hot diggity. Yeah, that's that's see that's some. <laughs> That's the 1995 no 2000 numbers right there. You ain't seen $50 deposits no more. You can borrow $50,000, I mean, $50 from somebody to put a deposit. Yeah, you ain't down. getting that. You ain't getting that now. No. So, yeah, it's a different time. So, it's just, it's good to give people, the young people, the, the advice as far as how to manage money, right. how to, uh, forecast and budget like those skills are the same now as they were in 1925 but don't pretend like the cost of goods and the cost of services are anywhere near relative because yes back then minimum wage was like 75 cent an hour i get it but you were still trying to chase a two thousand dollar price tag Whereas now these young people are making $100,000 a year and it still doesn't allow them to not have a roommate. That's rough. Not really. If I had to give you advice and I'm just going by experience because I don't want to poison the well when I say this, Woo, try not to get a roommate. I have one no, roommate. roommates are cool. My my best I friend had was one roommate. It sucked rocks. I, I hmm. just, it was terrible. I had a couple bad ones in college. But I when I was out on my own, well, I've only had two, you know, I've been married my whole life. But um, my roommate, fresh out of college, was my best friend from high school. And then. I had my own place for a few years and then I got married again. And I've had a roommate ever since. 